Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Hunter from Out in Astro Photography. Join me for another night underneath the cosmos as we are going to be going galaxy hunting this evening. Now tonight we are going to be going after a spiral galaxy located in the constellation of Ursa Major known as NGC 3079 also known as the Phantom Frisbee Galaxy as we are going to be looking at this galaxy located at about 50 million light years away. Now there is some special things associated with this galaxy not only there is a confirmed supermassive black hole located in the center of this galaxy where you will see the possibility of looking at some nebula jets coming directly out of the center of this galaxy but tonight is not where we're going to try and capture a little bit of that center portions of the supermassive black hole it was located nearby Nearby to this galaxy is not one, but two quasars that have a little bit of some very interesting details along with it because tonight we are going to be trying to capture what is known as gravitational lensing. Now you might have heard that term before but have no idea what that is. If you remember when the first James Webb telescope images began to come in where they replicated the Hubble wide field and you notice with some of the images they kind of have these curved, like curved edges around it that is what is known as gravitational lensing what it happened is there is so much mass associated with these quasars that they're actually bending space and time this is a indication from Einstein where we're talking about how gravity can affect space and time in general and we're going to be trying to image it tonight with a backyard telescope. So join me outside as we begin setting up for this evening. Got to bring a little bigger one out for this one since this one is a little bit tough to do from a backyard telescope, but we're going to be finding out what we're going to be using for tonight. Tonight I'm going to be shooting this target with my favorite refractor, the Explorer Scientific 102mm triplet refractor at its full focal length of 714mm, which is about an f7 because we're going to be need to get in nice and tight for this one, on top of the ZWO AM5, which I added the counterweight this time to it because I am fairly close to that 28 pound payload without a counterweight I just don't want to have any topo over problems with this camera I'm going to be using tonight is the ZWO 2600 MC Pro one shot color camera and the filter I'm going to be using is the Optolong L quad enhanced a brand new one from Optolong which is going to be basically the replacement for the L Pro but guiding tonight we're going to be using an SB Bonnie 60 millimeter guide scope and I'm going to be using my planetary camera for the guide camera which is the ZWO ASI 174mm which is a monochrome camera and then we are going to be using the ZWO ASI Air Plus to be controlling our night session. Now we are fully set up for this evening. Now. We just gotta wait for nightfall and it's time to go galaxy hunting.
Well now finally we have hit sundown and we're ready to do a polar alignment. Well, it was the next morning, but some weird things was going on last night with my ASI Air. In fact, it looked like it killed one of my USB thumb drives for whatever reason. It just stopped in the middle of imaging session, and then I tried plugging it into my computer, and it didn't even seem like it existed anymore. Like, it just completely died. So, I had another one that I threw in there, so I basically lost about three hours of data from that one. I put in another backup one, and it went offline again. Like, it's not even there. So, for whatever reason, my ASI Air right now is just killing USB thumb drives. So, everything kind of backed up onto the main board or the main SD card that is associated with the ASI Air, but I lost probably a good half of my data from last night. Luckily, it is going to be clear again tonight, but this has got to be a pretty serious uh, situation for what is going on with this device, because if not, this thing is uh, needs to be replaced <laughs> at this point, because what's the point of imaging when everything is just going to corrupt and you're just going to be wasting time anyway? Well, after about two nights, I was able to get about 16 hours worth of data on this Galaxy Group and that potential double quasar with the gravitational lensing. The Galaxy stuff looks fantastic, but unfortunately did not pick up the gravitational lensing like I was hoping, probably because I'm only using a 4-inch refractor. A lot of people that have been using it have been using something like a 10 or a 12 or something even larger than that, but in regardless, still a wonderful image. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Be sure to like, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out very much in the motivation to keep doing this. Here's the final result of this NGC Galaxy.